All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym, and the QBO Gym is a set of numerous exercises that help simulate real life scenarios that you would encounter as a bookkeeper. And we come out with a new set of exercises every single month and have it broken down into four different categories. And then within each category are all of those exercises. So today we are gonna be focusing on the warm up section for July. At the top here, we have a video that talks about what's going on in Craig's world that month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz to test your knowledge on what you just watched in the video. And then further down are all of the exercises in this section. So today we are gonna be focusing on practicing receiving payments. We are going to be working in the sample company. This is where we always work. If you are not sure how to access this or how to get your own free QBOA account, just click on the link in the description below. So our scenario today is that Craig received three checks since you last visited. You will need to apply them to their outstanding invoices. Um, you will need to click on the link beneath the warm ups video to grab a copy of these checks um, as we'll use them for this exercise. Also, uh, keep in mind that you will need to complete all of the exercises within this warm up section um, in the same sample same sample company session. And that's just because they continue to build on each other. So let's grab a copy of those checks. If you scroll back, um, if you go back to the gym, here is the video. Here is the download for checks. Go ahead and click on that. And mine have downloaded right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it so you can see what it looks like. And there are our three checks. So let's start with Freeman Sporting Good, who sent uh, check number 4027 um, for $477.50. So to begin, we are going to click on the plus new button and then select receive payment. Um, here we are on the sample company. This is the dashboard. So click on this plus new button in the left nav bar. And then you are going to be going down here under customers to receive payment and this will appear. So we're gonna go ahead and type in Freeman. So let's do that first, Freeman. And when you do that, you see that there are three different ones that will appear. So how do you know which one is the correct one? So let's go ahead and click on this first one and see what happens. Okay, so we have received an error message. And this error message is saying that there's not an invoice that is open that goes with this particular account. So we need to do a little digging and go to one, um, look at this a different way. So I'm gonna go here, um, we're gonna click on the X and then confirm yes, um, that we wanna leave. There's the X on the top right. And yes, we want to leave without saving. So go ahead and click yes. And we are going to look at it, um, like I said, a different way. So to do that, we're gonna go to the left nav bar, click on sales, and then select customers. So here's the left nav bar, click on sales, and then here um, down on customers, click on that. And then we're gonna scroll down until we find Freeman Sporting Goods. So scroll down, here's uh, Freeman Sporting Goods. Here you can see there's the parent company, which is the one we had clicked on in the last screen. And then here are the uh, sub companies, which are just um, three, it's just the three locations of um, Freeman. So um, we will want to go ahead, oh, I'm sorry, first of all, go ahead and click into Freeman so that we can pull that up. Um, and then we are going to use a filter um, so that we can narrow down to just the open invoices. So um, to do that under type, we're gonna select invoices and then the status, we're gonna select open. Um, if you have any of these uh, pop-ups that show up, just go ahead and just click the X. Um, they're just giving a little extra information for you. So you can see there's a lot here. So we're gonna narrow it down. Here's type, click on that. You're gonna go to invoices. And then for status, we are going to select open. 
And here we have the three open uh, invoices. And as you can see, it's pretty clear that the last one is the one that we are looking for. The other outstanding invoices, two are for the Freeman's Twin Lane location, and the other one is for the Ocean View Road location. Um, so we are going to select the one um, that is for the $477.50. But what about the other two? You ask Craig about this and he asks you to send a reminder um, for payment. So you're going to process that. You, you'll do that after you process the payment and I'll show you how in a minute. But first, let's go ahead and click on receive payment for the last transaction. So here's that $477.50. Just go ahead and click on receive payment. And you will see this populate. As you can see, a lot of the information is already completed for us. So now we are just going to add the couple of things that are missing um, and that it would be under the payment method. We're going to select check because that is what he sent. And then in the reference number, we select the check number, um, which we'll type out to be 4027. And the deposit, the checks are being deposited into the undeposited funds account. Remember, this is your holding account. And that's so that um, Craig can deposit them later. Um, but until he does that, you just need to put it, uh, any kind of checks and cash go to that undeposited funds account. So let's go ahead and do this. Payment method, like I said, is going to be check. The reference number, let's go ahead and look at that check again from Freeman Sporting Goods. It's 4027. So type that in. And then it's going to deposit to the undeposited funds. Again, that's your holding until he actually deposits it to the bank. And then we are going to go ahead and click on save and close. And to do that, there is this little arrow down here on the bottom right corner. Go ahead and click on that and then click on save and close. And that has now been recorded. So now he had asked you to send out reminders to Freeman for the overdue invoices from the other location. And that's super easy to do. We're just going to click on the checkbox at the top of the grid. So if you scroll down, you may, may need to scroll over the way I am right here. Go ahead and click on that check, bar, check box so that everything is highlighted there. And then we are going to, in the batch actions, select send reminder. Here's batch actions. Go ahead and click on the arrow and then send reminder. And that reminder has been sent. Okay, so now let's process the check from Red Rock Diner, which was for $156. First step is that we always want to locate the invoice that the payment applies to. So as we have seen, there are two ways to find it. You can use the plus new button like we did in step one or the customer list um, like we did in step four for Freeman Goods. But this time we're just gonna use the invoice list. So you're gonna click on invoices. We're still on the same page here. You can see invoices. If for whatever reason, though, you have navigated away from this, if you go to the left nav bar, you see this sales. You can just do it and click on invoices. It gets you, the same, gets you there the same way. And now we are going to filter the list like we did for the customers um, just to um, find Red Rock Diner. Um, you can always scroll, of course, um, but let's sort the list by customer. Um, since Red Rock Diner is near the end of the alphabet, we're going to do it in reverse alphabetical order. So click on customer and then click it again to reverse the order. So if you click on here, it's doing an alphabetical. Let's do it opposite. There you go, and then scroll down until you find Red Rock Diner. You will see that there are two invoices here. Um, the check was received um, for $156, so clearly it just matches the first one, and the second one is not due yet, so you don't have to worry about sending a reminder. So go ahead and click on Receive Payment for the correct one. Where am I, Red Diner? There it is, uh, $156 is the one we received, so go ahead and click Receive Payment. And again, a lot of the information is already filled out for us. We are just going to fill out that remaining few pieces. Um, 
You also want to make sure that the correct invoice has been selected because if you didn't notice, um, they're both of the ones that are still outstanding are in this screen, but we're only um, doing the receive payment for the invoice uh, for 1024, which was for $156 because that is what we received the check for. So make sure that only this check box is marked, not both. Um, so go ahead and fill out for the payment method. We're going to do check because, again, it was a check. And then the reference number will be the check number. And then finally, um, we are going to have one more check to enter. So go ahead and do a save and new button versus save and close. So one thing at a time. Um, for the payment method, go ahead and click on this and go to check. The reference number, again, is the check number. So let's take a look at that. Red Rock Diner is 32981. 32981. Again, this is going to undeposited funds until Craig actually has the ability to physically deposit this into the bank. And then uh, that only one is checked. So we are going to go ahead and click on the button down here and do a save and new because we have one more to process. And that payment has been saved. So now we are going to focus on Mark. So in the customer field, we are going to select Mark Cho and under the payment method, again, it's a check in the reference number, enter the, the um, credit card number. And again, it's being deposited to the undeposited funds until Craig has a chance to deposit the check. So let's go ahead and do that first. Click into the customer and uh, type Mark. The payment method we said was check. And the reference number, let's go ahead and take a look, is 01059. 01059. And again, that undeposited funds. Now, we have noticed that the invoice, there's only that one invoice that's out, outstanding, but Mark accidentally wrote the check for $318.28 not what the invoice was. It's $4 more than what he actually owes. So you contact Mark to find out how he wants to handle this. You could deposit it or and send him a refund, or you could just tear up the check and have him write another one, or just apply a credit to his account. Mark says that he plans to buy it more in the future, so just go ahead and apply it as, an, uh, as a credit. And luckily for us, that's super easy to do. So in the amount received field, we are going to enter $318.28 and then tab over to see that credit. So in this amount received, we are actually, here's that balance, it, but as you can see here, the check was $318.28. So go ahead and type that in, $318.28. If you tab over, you will see that it has the amount received. And down here, it says amount to credit, which is the $4. And then we are just going to go ahead and save and close this, which is the green button down here. And it has been saved. And that's a few ways on how you would receive payment. And if you have any questions about the QBO gym, just go ahead and click on the link below. Be sure to be in the same session of the sample company as you will need it for our next exercise in the warm up section, which is all about making a journal entry. And I will see you in that next video.